The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication. Podcast publishing made easy. Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Continuing America's love affair with comedy and those lovable characters that made us laugh. We now go back to the early days of radio comedy and our imaginations with our featured comedy presentation. Heinz Honey, Gracie Allen, with Frank Parker, Ray Noble and his orchestra, and Truman Bradley speaking. A hundred million strong, that's right, you can't go wrong, I say, you go all day long. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, Gracie, say hello. Well, I'm pretty burned up, but I'll say it. Hello. <laughs> Good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to offer the second episode... Nobody can say that I'm not a law-abiding citizen. The second episode of RKO Swiss Family Robinson. Laws and laws, and I'm going to obey them. You remember, folks, last week... He followed me out of the bakery, into the meat market, out of the meat market, into the grocery store. Who followed you? This morning. <laughs> this morning? He said to me, aren't you Gracie Allen, that beautiful and pretty little girl on the radio? Well, here we go. Well, I could have told him that I was far from pretty and that I was skinny and homely. But you didn't. I should say not. No. You're not going to get me for perjury. <laughs> I see you're a law-abiding citizen. Well, sure. So he kept on following me. Of course. Of course, I could have stopped him by turning on my personality and flashing my eyes and giving out with a big smile. But you didn't. No. no. You're not going to get me for using deadly weapons. <laughs> that would be against the law. Certainly. And then he grabbed me in his arms and he hugged me and kissed me. And then he hugged me again and kissed me some more. Didn't you do anything about it? Well, I could have hollered and screamed and yelled and kicked But and... you didn't. I should say not. You're not going to get me for disturbing the peace. You know, Gracie, every day you get more imbecilic. Every hour you get daffier, and every minute you get nuttier. Well, sure, there's no law against that. Oh, quiet, quiet. You remember, ladies and gentlemen, our play stopped last week with our boat being wrecked. The Swiss family Robinson were floundering in the water. I played the leading part. The flounder. <laughs> and now, Gracie, as Mama Robinson is going down for the play time, and even I'm beginning to sink. You can talk plainer than that, brother. <laughs> There I was in the middle of the ocean, with my wife and three sons depending on me. What could I do? Deduct them from your income tax. I struck out in one direction. My wife struck out in another. And my three sons struck out in another. Who's pitching, Bob Feller? <laughs> I was on my back, sinking very rapidly. Only my nose was visible above the water. My family was swimming around. Around the horn in 80 days. <laughs> As tonight's episode opens, we're still struggling in the water. With no land in sight. Well, I'll, I'll take... take it, I'll take it. Hello, I'm Sunny speaking. What? Oh, is that so? That bad, huh? Well, goodbye. What? Driving 60 miles an hour? Oh, that's impossible. I wasn't out an hour. Goodbye, what? Oh, yeah. Goodbye, what, what? Well, you can't do anything to me. In the first place, the car doesn't belong to me. And anyway, I didn't have a license. Goodbye, what? The owner isn't here now, are you? No, I'm not. See? Gracie, give me that phone. Goodbye. He hung up, George. Gracie, who is that talking? Me. I mean, on the other end. Um, oh, um, all oh, that, oh, that magnum. They'll do anything to sell a dress. <laughs> Gracie. <laughs> Look, uh, what happened to my brand new car that I let you drive this afternoon? Oh, your car. Yes, my car. You mean the one with the four wheels, the body, and the steering wheel? Yes, the new one. You mean the brand new one? Yes, the brand new one. Oh, the brand, brand new yeah, one. Yes, the brand, brand new one. You couldn't mean the old no, one? No, I don't mean the old one. Whatever happened to the old Never one? Never mind, Grace. <laughs> Look, what happened to my brand new car that you were driving? Well, let's not talk about me. So, you're Papa Robinson, and you're going down for the third time, I hope. Continue with Gracie, the play. Gracie. You're the only one who can answer this question. What happened to my car? Signed, anxious. <laughs> Look, I'm a taxpayer, a nice fellow. I send money to my mother every week. What? All right, every other week. Gracie, what happened to my car? Uh, well... Yes? Uh, well... Yes? Uh, give up? <laughs> yes, I give up. Yeah, uh, well, here's what happened. 
Your Papa Robinson and your God Wait Robinson a minute. Wait time. a minute. Uh, George, old boy, perhaps I can help you out. I wish you would. You see, I've written some Father's Day poems that I'm selling very cheap. Ray, I've got enough trouble on my hands. Hand troubles? What a spot to mention Heinz honey and almond cream if I could only think of something. What do you suggest, George? Oh, quiet. Look, George, uh, these Father's Day poems only cost five and ten cents apiece. Selling poems? Why are you selling poems? Oh, I need the money. What about the salary checks I give you each week? Oh, that's what I write the poems on. <laughs> <laughs> You write poems on the back of my checks? Yes. Oh, here's one entitled, Insufficient Funds. Oh, pardon me, that's the wrong side. <laughs> Gracie, where's my car? See, Ray, what's the difference between the five-cent cards and the ten-cent cards? Oh, the ten-cent ones fit the envelopes, you see. Uh-huh. Gracie. Uh, you know, I Where's... love Father's Day. Gracie. I'll never forget when I was a little baby, my daddy would tuck me in bed and watch over me for hours until I fell asleep. Gracie. And then he kissed the maid. <laughs> Gracie. My mother found out and she taught my daddy a lesson. He kisses the maid much better now. Look, what happened to uh, my car? Children, what do you think I ought to get my daddy for Father's Day? Let's see, uh, is he an outdoor man? Well, he will be in 30 days. <laughs> Gracie. Well, I can see your predicament. Oh, is that thing showing again? <laughs> Look, where's my car? Mr. Burns? Yes? Mr. Burns, have you got a car? Yes. Have you got a wife? No. I got a wife. So what? I haven't got a car. So what? You want to trade? Oh, go away. Go away. Have you got 49 cents? Okay, you've got enough money to get a dollar's worth of Heinz Honey and Almond Cream. Right now and for a short time only, Heinz Big Dollar Size is on sale for 49 cents. Now think of it. Less than half price for the big family size bottle of Heinz Lotion. 49 cents instead of a dollar. This is a swell opportunity for you to stock up on Heinz Honey and Almond Cream for the whole summer. Heinz is extra creamy, extra softening to dry, rough hands. And it will keep your knees looking smooth and pretty when you wear shorts in the new bare knee fashions. Don't forget, now is the time to save money on Heinz Honey and Almond Cream. At 49 cents, less than half price, you save 51 cents on the bottle. Even at its regular price, this big dollar size Heinz is famous as the economy buy. Get Heinz 49 cent special tonight, and you'll have plenty of Heinz lotion on hand to keep your skin feeling good, looking grand. And now, Frank Parker. Frank sings Perfidia or Tonight. Frank? Tonight, I see a message in your eyes, and there I find the world of my dreams, a vision of it. Tonight, you bring a glimpse of paradise, a tale of love and each little smile that whispers of joys to me. Now the lights are low in every tiny moan and brings a million charms. To the rhythm of a lovely melody, I'm holding heaven in my arms. Tonight, a magic spell our hearts entwine, and now I feel the touch of your hand that tells me to light you. I belong to you and you belong to me. Tonight I see a message in your eyes, and there I find the world of my dreams, a vision of ecstasy. Tonight you bring a glimpse of paradise. A tale of love in each little smile that whispers of joys to be. Now the lights are low and every tiny moment brings a million charms. To the rhythm of a lovely melody, I'm holding heaven in my arms. Tonight, a magic spell of Touch of your hand that tells me tonight you're mine. <laughs> 
dollar car, and I don't know what happened. Uh, George, what about my song? Go ahead, sing it, sing it, sing it. Sing it? I just sang it. Well, it was good, it was fine, it was great. Oh, well, thank you, George. I'm certainly glad you liked oh, it. shut up, shut up! Wait a minute, you can't talk that way to me. Who can't? You can't. Well, I did. Yeah, see this muscle? What muscle? Well, that's funny, it was here a minute ago. I... <laughs> Look on the floor, maybe it fell down. Well, and now for the play, actors, music, Gracie, curtain. Gracie, there's going to be no play, there's going to be no talk, no nothing. I want one question answered. Where's my car? You're pretty stubborn, aren't you? Where's my car? Well, anyway, I didn't hit the vegetable wagon. What vegetable wagon? The one I missed when I hit the truck. You, uh, you hit a truck? Did I turn white? White? It was a milk truck. A milk truck? Yeah, it's hard to drive with your eyes closed. You were driving, you were driving with your eyes closed? Well, I can't bear to see accidents. <laughs> no, it's fine. And I just bought it yesterday. Oh, George, here's a Father's Day poem that'll cheer you up. I don't want to hear it right. Well, then turn your back. Here's to Papa Dion, a man we all admire. His wife presented him with five children. Ray, is that all? Isn't that enough? <laughs> My brand new car. Gracie, was there much damage done? Oh, just a teeny weeny scratch in the fender. Oh, good. You ought to see your car. My car? Did you get any witnesses? Two of them. Where are they? On the front bumper. Gracie, where is my car now? Well, so the Swiss family Robinson are all uh, snuggling in the like water. It. And to think I paid four thousand dollars cash for that car, and I don't owe a cent on it. Hello. Liar. <laughs> Guy. Well, at least there's one good thing. I had Truman to pay my insurance on my car last week. Hey, Truman? Truman, you did pay the insurance, didn't you? So the Swiss family Robinson were all Truman. swimming in the water, and all Truman. of a sudden Truman. they see... Truman, I... what did you do with the $90 I gave you? Well, to tell the truth, George, I paid the insurance on my uncle's truck. You used my money to pay the insurance on your uncle's truck? Yes, and it's a very lucky thing, too. Some woman driver ran into him this morning. A woman driver? And so the Swiss family They're quiet, are all quiet. in the water. Gracie, where is... Hello. Oh, hello, Bobo. Oh, hello. Hey, Gracie, I've got some wonderful news. I just got... Why, George, what's the matter with you? You look awful. Just had a wreck. Congratulations, boy or girl. <laughs> I mean, Gracie just ran into a truck. Really? Anybody I know? Yes, Don Wilson. <laughs> Say, Gracie, I just got a telegram that the book you wrote is ready for publication. Book? You, you wrote a book? Yeah, How to Become President. When does it go on sale? June 19th. And isn't that a coincidence? Your book is coming out on the 19th, and my tonsils are coming out on the 20th. Yes. Oh. It's quite a coincidence. And my daddy is coming out on the 21st. <laughs> I hope the three of you will be very, very happy. Oh, you know, George, I come from a family of writers. I know, I know, I know. Except my brother. Mm. He wrote for ten years before he found out he had no talent. Did he, did he quit? No, but that time he was too famous. What's no talent doing now? Looking for his car. <laughs> I don't think that's funny. I've got enough troubles. You call that trouble? Listen to this. I was at Ciro's last night dancing with the most beautiful girl. Yes? I didn't know she was married. Yes? And we were in the middle of a rumba when all of a sudden the husband comes in and he... What, uh, what happened? I don't know. It was cut out rehearsal. <laughs> Is there anybody who isn't completely stupid? Oh, coming, old boy. Oh, yes. who's got an aspirin? Hello? Liar. What's that for? Oh, pardon me. I skipped a page. Oh. <laughs> I say, George, old boy, here's a poem that costs ten cents. Your father is a man's best friend, and he deserves it, too. Some fathers are laid end to end, and others have eyes of blue. Rather charming, just think. <laughs> Ray, I'm not interested in your poems. I'm not a father. That's right, Ray. He's only dad from the neck up. Oh, go, go. <laughs> George, George, are we going to continue to play Swiss Family Robinson, or aren't we? First, I want to find out where my car is. Well, I told you, George, I ran into a truck. That I know. Did you get the driver's number? Yes. Well, what is it? Gladstone 1131. <laughs> it must have been very friendly. Well, he couldn't wait to come through the windshield to meet me. Probably stuck his head through the middle and said, how do? Yeah, and the tears were running down his cheek. That's very sad. So I turned on the windshield wiper. Gracie, I want you to answer only one question. 
Where is my car now? On Vermont between 9th and 10th Street. Well, is it near 9th or near 10th? Near both. Well, right after race number. Now, for those who didn't hear our first episode of Swiss Family Robinson, and I know that there are oodles, we'll give you a brief resume of what has gone before. After deciding to leave on a voyage for a new country, the Robinson family gather all their money together and put it in a strong box. (laughs) Papa Robinson is heartbroken and says goodbye to his Morris chair. Goodbye, Morris. Goodbye, Sam. Despite many obstacles, Mama Robinson gets her family off without a slip. Ooh, it's cold without a slip. (laughs) Our little family has been out at sea for three days when suddenly the skies overhead darken and the sea gets choppy and we hear... Typhoon coming! Typhoon coming! Where? Soon at your neighborhood theater. (laughs) The following day, the ship hits a rock and we find the Robinson family struggling in the water. Mama, Mama, you've gone down eight times. I know it. You can't go down more than three times and live. You call this living? <laughs> going down eight times. That's remarkable. Oh, well, if you think that's good. Um, hmm, ladies and gentlemen, I will not only go down once more, but I will drink a glass of water at the same time. Where are my sons? Frankie. Truman. Raymond. We're right here, Papa. Truman and I are fishing. Where's Raymond? We're using him for bait. <laughs> Raymond. Raymond. Yes, Papa. What are you doing down there? Oh, I'm playing cards with a fellow with long white teeth. Why, that's a shark. You're telling me he's winning all the pots. <laughs> Getting good hands, huh? Oh, he's got one of mine. Ouch, two of mine. Well, Mama's coming up again. Look, she looks like she's going out of her mind. Oh, an octopus. An octopus. Take it away. Take it away. An octopus? Mama. It's me. Look, and it talks, too. <laughs> well, my children, 
It looks like we're not going to be saved. Then I can't swim another stroke. No, neither can I. I can't swim any longer either. Children, Papa, there's only one thing left to do. You mean... Yes. We'll have to walk to shore. I ho, I ho, da la 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 la. Look, we're on an island in the middle of the ocean. I wonder where we are. There's, there's a sign there. What does it say? Los Angeles City Limits. <laughs> well, children, we've got to find a place to live and get something to eat. Papa, Papa Truman is missing. That's right, he is missing. What a dope. He must be lost. Well, we're not, huh? <laughs> Come, we must go into the jungle and look for him. Oh, look what I just found. A green snake. Oh, drop it, Mama. Those green snakes are just as dangerous as the ripe ones. <laughs> I must find my son, Truman. We must press onward and onward into the jungle. Frankie. Frankie. Why are you putting that sarong on the ground? I'm setting a trap for Dorothy Lamour. <laughs> what would you do if you caught her? Are you kidding? <laughs> I must find my son. We must press onward and onward into the jungle. Help! Help! It's choking me! It's squeezing me to death! It's squeezing me Mama. to death! Mama, what is it, a boa constrictor? No, my girdle is killing me. <laughs> I must find my son. We must press onward and onward into the jungle. Why well, say, Papa? Look, there's a gorilla. A gorilla? Ah. Oh, darn it, I just can't scare anybody today. <laughs> I must find my son. We must press onward and onward into the jungle. Mula! Mula. Papa, here comes the cannibal. Well, maybe he knows something about Truman. Say, cannibal, you see my son? Mula. Him tall fella. Him sell Heinz honey and almond grain. Mula. Mula. You, you can catch him in 10, 25, and 50 cent bottles. Dollar bottle now catch him for 49 cents? Yes. Me no see him. <laughs> mula, mula. Wait, I call my tribe. Chloe! <laughs> Surrounded by cannibals. Oh, oh, Papa, here comes the chief. Hunger! Hunger! Got them plenty to eat for everybody. Uh, Mama, there's Truman. He's tied to a stake. Tied to it? He is the stake. <laughs> uh, say, cannibal. Cannibal, what's the matter with you? Me got wishbone stuck in my throat. Me make wish. What do you wish? Me wish it was stuck in your throat. <laughs> mola, mola. But, Papa, these cannibals must be your bangies. How do you know? Well, I can tell by that baby. She's sitting on her mother's lip. <laughs> oh, no. Me no feel good. Must be somebody I ate. You must think of some way to get out. Mama, Frankie, Truman. Yes, yes Papa? Yes, yes. You try and hold the cannibals' attention while I go over there and rescue Truman. Right. Okay. Hurry, 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 boys, get around me. Me and my kid brother are going to tear up a hunk of black magic. Oh, yes, and they're wonderful. Ah, now, Raymond, take a card. That's fine. Now show it to the boys. Now, Raymond, what does the card say? Father, dear, on Father's Day, I really need you quite a lot. Just as you have always said, your son is going to pot. P.S. Help! <laughs> well... Chief, uh, how you like them black magic? You like them poem? Are you kidding? <laughs> now we eat you. Oh, oh, natives, natives, wait, wait. You cannibals ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Uh, Eating people. What are you, cannibals? Uh, <laughs> Go ahead and eat, my son. But I'll make you pay for it. A uh, dollar sixty-five a piece, and believe me, boys, I'm losing money. Uh, Oh, look over there. What's Papa doing? Truman. Truman. Where are you? Here I am, Papa. Where? Under the mayonnaise. <laughs> I, I can't see her. Well, push aside those anchovies. 
Oh, there you are. Ouch. Well, I couldn't help it, my son. You look so delicious. Mama! Mama! Children, what's eating you? Papa. Unga! <laughs> Unga! <laughs> Monarco nil soliparato, ma si de cada ha, na si se va a no. What, uh, what is, what does that mean? That means we throw the whole family in pot. <laughs> now you're cooking with actors. <laughs> ah, light fire. Who got match? Right here, old boy. Thanks, kid. Not at all. <laughs> Now, while dinner cooking, we broadcast them banquet. Good schnavitz, everybody. This cannibal broadcasting company, Moolah V. Kaltenborn speaking. Cannibal broadcasting company? What program is this? Eat the people. Eat the people? <laughs> I wonder if you realize what men think of you as a woman when they look at your hands. Why, one look at your hands tells a man right away whether you're a dainty, lovable person. The soft, smooth hands that you get by using Heinz Honey and Almond Cream may mean more love and kisses later, and that's no fooling. For even though your hands are rough and red from dishwater and harsh cleansers, you'll find that a single application of Heinz will give your hands a softer, more thrilling look and feel. The reason is Heinz is a fine, creamy emulsion. It's extra creamy, extra softening. And right now, Heinz is on sale at an extra special price. You can get the big dollar size Heinz Honey and Almond Cream for only 49 cents. That's less than half price. And you get over twice as much Heinz lotion as in the regular 50-cent bottle. This 49-cent offer is good for a short time only. So hurry. Stock up on Heinz Honey and Almond Cream now to help soften your rough hands. Soothe your sunburned skin all summer long. Get the big dollar size for only 49 cents. And now Gracie will sing Irene. Sing it, Gracie. Once the king of Normandy, where the queen of Arcady, there they settled all the sea. Shamus came, then Kathleen. Sham was born, and then Eileen. Michael came before Irene. I bring a little bit of salt and sweetness. I bring a dainty slip of red completeness. Mannerism, magnetism, eyes of youth and fighting. Dancing, fire with glancing eyes, a flush of her exciting siren. The sword that captures hearts to charm them. Careful, beware. Now she's here and now she's there, followed by her set. Off she goes, down she goes, everybody's pet. Near or far, there you are, captured in the net of oh, tippity which I mean, no dare. I can see her driving into town in her quaint little Alice blue gown. Irene, it's from the picture of the same name, Irene. And she's the picture in the picture fame, mannerism, magnetism, eyes of youth and piety. Awful lot of words, but don't you think that they're exciting, siren? The sort of captures hearts to charm them, careful, beware. Now she's here and now she's there. Pardon me for slowing up, but don't you care? Near or far, there you are. Gotta get the mare. Oh, tippity witch Irene. Tippity witch Irene. Tippity witch Irene. No, there. On hot summer days, Heinz Honey and Almond Cream feels so cool and comforting. It soothes sunburn and tender-chafed skin. It feels grand to hot, tired feet. If your hands get drawn and dry from dishwashing, gardening, or working with the car, by all means use Heinz. It's extra creamy, extra softening, and now on sale at an extra special price. A big dollar size for only 49 cents. Now's the time to stock up on Heinz Honey and Almond Cream for the entire summer. Thank you, Truman. Well, Gracie, say good night. Well, good night. Gracie, who's taking you home tonight? Uh, Mula. Uh, Mula. Well, I suppose anything can happen here after it's all said and done. This is a comedy program, you know. Uh, hello? Liar. Good night, all. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next Wednesday, over these same stations, George and Gracie and all of us will be back again, don't forget. And don't forget, for Honeymoon Hands, it's Heinz Honey and Almond Cream. Truman Bradley speaking. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.